The map house on Rainbow Six Siege has always been a keystone to the game, but more useful towards modes like Michael Myers or Tea Hunts. However, the story behind its lore has always been a little bit of a mystery, so I didn't really expect to find much when everyone requested that I look into the house. But boy, was I wrong. So today, I'm going to be going over the real life story that I think actually inspired the map house of Rainbow Six Siege. On August 10th, 1969, tragedy was about to strike LA twice in two days. At this point, all the headlines of the newspapers read about the Tate murders, where famous actress who was eight and a half months pregnant, plus her friends, were viciously murdered in their rental home. Except this tragedy is gonna occur at 3301 Waverly Drive, at the home of Lino and Rosemary LaBianca. Now let's rewind a bit to August 9th. We're gonna find a day where Lino, a successful businessman that ran two different supermarket chains, and his beautiful wife, Rosemary, who owned a successful business boutique called the Boutique Carriage, were off having a day with their family at the lake. Their son had requested and asked if they could bring the family boat, and from all accounts that I can read, it was an amazing day for them. However, on the way home, they stopped up the Chevron gas station, they picked up the paper, and there was still just so much looming that had particularly Rosemary on edge as they've already had actually filed different police reports because they had found stuff moved in their house and they would leave and come back and find their dogs, which they knew they left inside, outside of the house. So somebody was letting them out. So never in a million years did they know what was coming. After arriving home and settling in for the night, Lino decided to stay up and read the sports portion of the newspaper in the living room, and Rosemary went to sleep. Except only a short time later, the Manson family would was soon going to end their lives. Now the Manson family, which was also responsible for the Tate murders, was run by Charles Manson, a twisted, deluded person who was actually bittered by the fact that many things happened in his life, I think, to form who he turned out to be. But when it came to these murders in particular, it is reported that he became obsessed with the Beatles' White Album, particularly Helter Skelter, which is based off of a ride, actually a twisted slide, which I thought was very interesting. Because Manson himself always wanted to be famous, and actually he got close a couple times. He even made friends with somebody from the Beach Boys, and his cult even stayed with them for a while. And the Beach Boys actually recorded one of the songs he co-wrote. But unfortunately for Manson, his trouble passed, his attitude, it all fell through for him. And he ended up going around with his cult and then Helter Skelter, like I said, that song in particular, I think there was also a song called Blackbird. But the lyrics of Helter Skelter, he started just, just preaching about how they meant different things. It just turned into a portion of the driving force for him and his cult to commit these horrendous acts. That included jumping into that whiteboard and going over to the LaBiancas and murdering them. There's much speculation on why they picked their home. It's recorded that there was a party that Manson and his cult attended at the neighbor's house. And in the later years, there was reports from the family that actually Nino himself on the night of the party had a run-in with Manson. But for the most part, it's documented that he came back just because the area was familiar to him. Now, apparently Manson wasn't impressed with the Tate murders and how they were executed. He thought it was sloppy. So he wanted and ordered them to go in Lino and Rosemary's home, and he was going to join them to show them how to do it. Now, as Lino sat there reading his newspaper, he was ambushed by them, and Rosemary awoke to this noise. Now, they promised them that they wouldn't hurt them and let them live, that they were just going to rob them. But unfortunately, this was never true. So they bound Lino in the living room and they subdued Rosemary in her bedroom. Now there's definitely more horrible details to go along with it. I'm just gonna end it with the fact that it's reported that Lino figured out that they weren't being truthful about letting them live and he tried to fight back. But then at that point, they ended his life. Rosemary herself, hearing that from her husband downstairs, also tried to fight back to which she was subdued as well and they took her life. Now at this point, the Manson clan got a, they just, they're just twisted people. And they ended up writing different words in blood on their walls and also writing Helter Skelter on the refrigerator door. It is noted they did this 
which they also did at the Tate murders because they're trying to deflect off of them and blame other parties or situations because their whole motive was political from you know the helter skelter and the lyrics and what they got from it but either way their bodies were found the next day by their son and their daughter it was an earth shattering time for everybody at the hands of some really twisted people and it's just all around just a tragic tragic event now if anyone's followed me going through the map house on Rainbow Six Siege, there's a lot of clues I thought had strong connection, which is why this lore story and, and this theory came in to be. From the cars, the pictures, the boat, the architecture of the house itself, the surrounding environment, there was definitely, I think, a lot in common with this case and that house in particular. I know for me personally, when it comes to actually playing this map, the boat being moved outside, the fact that what looks like the Manson's car is in the garage now, the picture of Rosemary being, uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff. But either way, I actually didn't go into this expecting to find anything, like I said at the beginning of this. So, so thank you for voting for this map, and I really appreciated being able to dive a little bit deeper into it, because again, I was surprised. But on that note, that kind of wraps up this week. We are starting a whole new lore map next week. So that announcement on which map actually won will be tomorrow. And until the next time, I hope you guys have an absolutely fabulous day. Bye.